So in this episode, I'm gonna show you when we cut the parts. I'm also gonna show you a little bit on the project itself because we cut these parts a couple of days ago and I've been working hard many nights. So stay tuned for the episode. fabrication has finally started on the TG Gladiator project. The other day I went to a friend with a water jet cutting machine and we cut a lot of brackets for I think it took like six hours. So it's brackets like this and I've drawn these brackets myself in the computer and uh, we threw them into the system for a water jet cutting machine and we cut them. A couple of years ago or more, I don't know, it's like eight years ago I used to work with water jet cutting machines. Uh, I was an operator and uh, also des designing the parts for to be cut. So I'm well known to these machines and I know the capabilities and they are amazing what you can do. First off of course the quality of the parts looks good compared to if you're working with a, with a cutting disc. The cutting discs are also, of course, involved in this project a lot. But as long as you get the basic parts or the big puzzle create, uh, manufactured with a water cutting machine or with a cutting CNC cutting machine, it saves you a lot of time and the result is much better. So here's the 3D model of the bracket we're going to cut today, or at least some of the brackets. This is the rear portal axle link bracket. So upper control arm for the trailing arm and the lower link bracket where you can see the bushings or flex joints. So now we're gonna prepare the water jet machine and put the plate on the table. Okay, so all the parts have been fitted to the plate and as you can see, it's well used. I think we can fit, I don't know, four or five more brackets up there, some of the small ones, but. That's it. Here's the plate, two times one meter, and this is the one we're gonna cut in pieces. While we're waiting for the parts to get ready, we're looking at some of the episodes from Matt's off recovery. Nice. Puzzle is ready for the Jeep. Many parts, so hopefully I remember how I'm gonna assemble everything. Some of the brackets are still on the bench, but most of them has actually been used. 
frame stiffers in on the inside. I'm gonna plate the whole light outside as well, all the way to the front. Uh, link brackets been welded on. Mock-up links, of course. I might replace those later on, or I'm gonna maybe I'm gonna keep the rusted out. We'll see. But yeah, the rear axle is all also done. So these are the brackets that we cut, and uh, they are now fitted to the axle, fully welded, painted, and so on. So it's coming along quite nicely, and so far everything fits as planned. We'll see how long that continues. It's still a lot of fabrications to do. I'm gonna start with the front section this weekend, but before then I'm gonna plate the whole frame and might put some uh, base coat on the rear so I don't get any surface rust on the sandblasted bare metal. Please like and subscribe if you liked the episode and I promise you there will be a lot more episodes coming up shortly with a lot of fabrication. Take care. Bye.